Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Now, I'm not planning to make a series on David Wood I'm just going to probably be refuting some videos here and there And this was one of the uh, crazier claims that I've seen him make And um, there was someone in the comments who was just spamming at me Asking me to refute this So, here you go um, This is the person that you should thank for this refutation now, Rasulullah Sallallahu said, um, the curses of Allah are upon men who act like women and women who act like men. Uh, however, David Wood would like you to believe that the person that said that was, in fact, a cross-dresser. Now, even if you forget about this hadith, um, can you imagine that the Arabs of 7th century Arabia were ruled by someone who was a cross-dresser. And hey, this video already has almost 300,000 views because David dressed up as a woman. You gotta be very, very confident in your arguments if you're gonna pull a stunt like that. So let's see if David had a good reason to be that confident. The Muslim sources contain more than 30 references to Muhammad wearing women's clothing. I'll include several examples in the link I mentioned. The narration we looked at in Bukhari uses the word thalp, which is like our word garment in that it can refer to a man's garment or a woman's garment. But in context, it's the thalp of Aisha that Muhammad's wearing. Pretty creepy. Some of the sources, however, including Sahih Muslim, say that Muhammad was in Aisha's mert, which refers specifically to a woman's garment, more like our word dress. Moreover, if you look up the word mert, you'll find that the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to leave home while being in a mert. So this was something that he was doing publicly, apparently. Notice that the English translate the word mert into blanket. Huh. Isn't that strange? I thought Mert was supposed to look like, uh, like this. By dressing up like your prophet. In another report with a similar wording, the word cloak is used for Mert. The report mentions that the Prophet, peace be upon him, had four of his relatives under that one cloak. Now, I know that David is a big guy, but I don't believe that five people could fit into that outfit. So where did the confusion come from? Well, David explains. The Arabic dictionary Al-Mujam Al-Wasit defines mert as a dress from wool or cotton that is used as an izar or a cover by a woman. According to the dictionary definition, you have the mert being worn in two different ways. One, as a cloak, تتلفعو, meaning that she would cover herself up completely with it like so, or as an izar, meaning that she would use that same cloth and she would wrap it around her waist. So again, it's just a large piece of cloth that can be worn in two different ways. It should also be noted that most classical dictionaries do not state that it is something worn by women either. These include Tahdib al lugha Al-Qamus Al-Muhit, and Al-Nihaya fi Gharib Al-Hadith Al-Athar. Ibn Manzoor adds that a mirt is any type of clothing that isn't tailored. In other words, it does not look like this. Well, uh, that was a huge waste of time. I mean, I can't believe I'm actually putting some effort, some of my time, into responding to a garbage argument like this. That just goes to show you, I mean, this is what happens. When, when your heart is filled with hatred, you make these unfair accusations. Again, forget about the ahadith that condemn um, cross-dressing or condemn um, men acting like women and women acting like men. Forget about all that stuff. Just think about it. Seventh century Arabs um, submitting to the rule of a cross-dresser. Really. <laughs> really. Um, again, this is what happens when your heart is filled with hatred. Um, you are blinded. You make dumb arguments like these. You, you talk about things that you know little to nothing about, and you dress up in your wife's undergarments.
Well, I guess that wasn't a complete waste of time. At least we got, um, you know, David Wood to make a complete uh, mockery out of himself. Um, so, yeah, at least we got that. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I've managed to squeeze this 240 pounds of awesomeness into the only garment in my wife's dresser stretchy enough to hold it.